Hey guys, in this video I just kind of wanted to go over my favorite area to farm ancient mana and then also looking at how to increase your mana by getting items that increase that storage and then spending it as well. So this little area down here in Suramar, I kind of highlighted it on my cursor, I just do a lap in that area. It's all around the Waning Crescent, just kind of that little south southern part of the Suramar city kind of thing. So I just take this little portal here and all you really need um, as you're doing this is your mana divining stone. It's just the thing that tracks the ancient mana on your mini map. And you can see on the mini map as well, you'll either have these little dots either grayed out or they'll be bright blue. If they're grayed out, it just means it's inside of a building. So that's kind of just a little hint. And there's different items as well that carry this ancient mana, but I'm actually gonna speed it up here as well while we kind of do this little loop here. So basically just pay attention to the mini map and you can see in the chat, I'm actually tracking the amount of ancient mana I'm gathering as well. So in one clockwise lap that I was kind of showing you guys on the uh, map before we actually started this little route here, we're actually gonna get about a thousand ancient mana in less than five minutes. And the items that I'm gathering on the map that give you this good amount of ancient mana are things called lay petal blossoms or blossoms, twice fortified arc wine, mana gems, glowing tomes, and lay petal powder. So those are the kind of things you'll find. I find that the lay, um, actually not the lay petal blossoms, but yeah, speaking of lay petal blossoms, they're the ones that usually give the least amount of ancient mana out of the items I just mentioned. The ones that give the most tend to be the twice fortified arc wine. Usually the hardest ones to spot on the map are the mana gems themselves, and they tend to be around the kind of like those vendors in this main courtyard area here. So you just kind of got to watch out for those and get as close to those blue dots as possible. Also note that the blue dots, um, as I was kind of saying, that appear outside can still be on the top of buildings. So only ones that appear in gray are the items that actually appear inside of a the building themselves. And as you'll see, we're actually we finished a lap here. And before we're even returning to the portal, we've already got ourselves a thousand ancient mana. So that's why this is one of my favorite laps to do. It can be a little competitive when there's a lot of people out here, but the respawn times are really quick and I found it really helpful. So hopefully you guys do like those laps too. But let's take a look now at where you can actually get these items that will increase your mana. So the first one here is just gonna be found right outside of Falinar. And it's, it's kind of right next to this little area I'm fighting this guy. I've already looted it, I picked it up. But you can see here, if you can just refer to the coordinates on the mini map there that I'm highlighting, or my little cursor on the map, it'd be right on this little stone spot. That's where you get the very first item. So that's the first one there. We'll take a look now at the second one. You need to enter the kind of the northern area of the Falinar Temple. Now again, I'll just kind of speed it up here, this Temple of Felidora, as we work our way down. It kind of has the same layout as it does um, by doing those collapse scenarios. So you just work your way down here. It's it, And then once you kind of get to this little main area where the Shard Maidens are, here it is right on the ground. You can see I haven't looted it yet, and that's how to look for the rest of them. But there's 500 um, ancient mana increases in total. Um, if, once you get all of these items, each one of them will increase your ancient mana by 100 for a maximum of 500. So by doing your normal quest lines and stuff like that, you'll actually increase your mana up to 1500 total, but you can find 500 extra mana out in the world and that's what we're looking at right now. So the next spot here is just kind of outside of Felsol uh, Hold in this little cave and here it is right there you can see i'm highlighting it and again you can always just refer to the map here um and stuff like that on um, with the coordinates if you're ever kind of curious as to where i'm actually going um yeah that's where it is but it's just kind of next to the felso hold there the next one over here is just kind of get is this the one in telenor no this is moon guard stronghold so you can see i just kind of take this little path up here on the um the western side of the moon guard so uh so <laughs> the moon guard stronghold and you just kind of scale the mountain and then that's how you get this one here and it's just this infinite stone and again now we've increased our mana again you can see after each little section i'm just increasing my mana and here's the very last one you can get it's in telenor so if you haven't unlocked all the portals yet you can just kind of walk over to these areas but if you take the portals it's a lot easier so here's the enchanted burial urn there you go now i've got the maximum amount of mana that i can carry up to 2000 and this will allow you to actually recruit the most amount of troops as well for that collapse scenario and that's the main reason you spend the mana but let's actually look at some other areas really quick where you can spend mana as well the first little area is going to be up here in this menagerie and it's kind of in that area where you release release the big dinosaur suesh it's just kind of in suramar city itself on the outskirts a little bit as I'm highlighting here. But there's only a couple items you can get. There's a toy that's kind of nice. It's worth a thousand um, ancient mana. And then there's these other two just like little plushies. And uh, 
I don't know, they just kind of take up bag space to me, but I bought a couple just to kind of show you guys here. Here's the Elk looking plushie. And then you can just loot it again, and then it'll appear back in your inventory. So I don't know if you can do that with friends where they can steal them, but that's that little menagerie there if you want to get yourself a toy. Now, if you make your way back to Shellaran here, you can actually spend ancient mana on getting these buffs from Oculith. Uh, Arcanist Veltros, I think her name is, and then Thalysra. Each buff is a little bit different. The first one here from Oculus allows you to move 15% faster when you're in Suramar. Each of these buffs only work when you're in Suramar. Uh, the second buff here is this Leyline Mastery, which pretty much opens up these blue rifts on the ground that you can see uh, when you're fighting enemies. And if you stand over top of those rifts, it'll actually allow you to generate ancient mana. And the last buff here is this one from Thalysra, which pretty much just allows you to save yourself from death. Now, if you get these buffs from each of these NPCs while they're kind of in their mana drain state, you'll see them kind of shaking or something like that, like they're freaking out. Um, it actually gives you 75 reputation with the Night Fallen. But other than that, the biggest thing I can think of for spending ancient mana is for these uh, collapse scenarios. If you do have the maximum amount of ancient mana unlocked and you save it up, you can actually bring 20 of these withered guys into a scenario here. And the nice thing about doing these scenarios is it generates, it can give you up to 425 reputation for the night fallen upon completion. So that's pretty much everything I know about ancient mana, guys. Hopefully you found that video helpful, and thanks a ton for watching.